Sylvia Ortiz. <laughs> she is showing as well here at the Art Wino G40 exhibit in Richmond, Virginia. And Sylvia, your work, as always, I find it beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, one of the obvious things that you use to describe your work is the term beautifully grotesque. Yes. Can you kind of explain a little bit what that means to you? Absolutely. Um, it's, not a, it's not just describing my work. It is my work. It is something that I'm constantly resolving throughout to as as time keeps going by um people tend to separate the two and i have discovered that they actually aren't two separate things they are in coexistence with each other and it's really up to the eye of the beholder literally mm -hmm. of what they can decipher whether it's beautiful or grotesque mm -hmm. and i use the female form because it's a common subject mm -hmm. throughout history yeah. for the ages beyond our time that has been always been a staple of art yeah. per se. So I use the female form to convey the message to everyone, not just women, just not, not just men, you know, just try to invoke some sort of thought process to really think about what is beautiful and what is grotesque. Very nice, very nice. And there's something I find really interesting about your work as well, is that you have these little images of um, skulls and faces, or these little, these little guys that time kind of constantly make appearances and pop into certain places right. in your work. Is this a theme that has always been present? Or again, is that really just a kind of play on the word grotesque? Or what, what do these guys kind of stem from? Because they're, they're almost cute. Yeah, they are. Um, it's... Actually, it's both the skulls and boobles, as I call them, <laughs> uh, floating boobies. Yay, nice. um, yeah, everyone loves boobies. Boobies have been like, Boobie. everyone loves boobies. I love boobies. Um, but skulls and boobies tend to be just a constant image that you see throughout the ages, again, within our history, history period. Mm -hmm. um, skulls decipher our you know whole heritage and what's you know where did this skull come from and like who was this was it female was it male what era did it live through <coughs> so on and so forth breast floating breast um if you look at the images of first caveman drawings and mm -hmm. idols and, and whatnot you don't see a face right. you just see this big voluptuous boobies and hips and all of that was a symbol of fertility, of life, of beautiful, and just So it's kind of like a juxtaposition of life, like and death. breasts, the giving of milk, you know, the giving of life, but then skulls, death. Right. You know, kind of having the two. Exactly. Yeah. It's like the yin and yang of yeah. both. And what people tend to uh, not realize is that the beautiful and the grotesque yeah. are that. Yeah. They do not exist without each other. Right. So it's like... I can find a mangled body on the floor and find it extremely beautiful because of the blues, dark reds, just the gut spilling out everywhere. Someone else will find it absolutely insanely gross and like sad and tragic. Mm -hmm. While a flower, mm -hmm. an orchid, let's use an orchid, mm -hmm. you and I may find that beautiful. But that shit may cause some fucking allergies out the wazoo. <laughs> and it's like, I cannot handle my eyes are swollen. You know, there's a huge, huge difference between the two. But at the same time, there isn't. They're like all at the same level. Mm -hmm. It's all in how you perceive it. Mm -hmm. You know, so the skulls, yes, the skulls do, they, they have an essence of our heritage. Mm -hmm. Going back to like the human side of us and then the breasts have always been the allure mm -hmm. have always been since the dawning of man have been the allure of like oh titties this titties that oh, oh my gosh she has great tits oh my goodness but you know when you really deconstruct 
what breasts represent. You give birth to this little thing that is trying to survive that essence. Their skull still hasn't been put together. Mm -hmm. What do you give them? Breast milk. Mm -hmm. That's nourishment, that's birth, that's just, just it's life. It's right. the life source. Right. So when you see the boobles, mm -hmm. that's what it represents, life, nourishment. It's the source of everything. So I like to play a lot with the whole concept of how one can ex cannot exist without the other. Very nice. So that's, and it's, it's a journey that every person has to go through. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm hoping, like in my work, it's an, an attempt to spark that little flame for you to ignite and just be like, you know, what is this about? Like, what is she saying? It's for you to decipher, mm -hmm. you know, it's, what does this, what does this mean to you, right. you know? And it's taken, it's been a really fucking long journey. <laughs> it's been a, let me tell you, I've been doing this shit since like 2000 and like two. And it's now that women are finally understanding that my artwork is not bringing women down. Right. But uplifting them. Right. And trying to educate them. And... You don't understand, when I first had my first one-woman show, mm -hmm. 2002, mm -hmm. at Naked Duck Gallery in Brooklyn, it was heartbreaking because they thought I was dude. Uh -huh. So yeah, I had the advantage. I was able to walk around right. and hear what everyone's saying. And dudes got my work. Like, right. guys understood what the fuck I was saying. Right. Right. They thought they you were, were like so, objectifying women. They were so caught up in the image and the stereotype mm -hmm. that society has built for them right. that the message just <laughs> flew right over, right over their head. Yeah. I was honestly depressed. Aww. I was like, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. They don't understand. This yeah. is for them. Right. You know, so it's been, what, 13 years? Yeah. It's been 13 years, and now I have women, like my collectors, mm -hmm. Germany, Paris, Japan, like they're doctors, scientists, like amazing, strong, powerful women that fucking get it. Mm -hmm. And that's the best part. Like if you're collecting my artwork and you fucking get it, mm -hmm. and you're a chick, that means more to me than a guy that gets it. Fine, back in 2002, you got it. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you telling your girlfriend or whoever the fuck you were fucking at the time. You were telling, nah, dude, she's trying to say this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. And it just, it just makes me think. I'm, it just goes like, how come the guy gets in and the girl doesn't? Mm -hmm. That's a whole other monster to think about. Yeah. So, you know, it's amazing just to see the evolution. And it sucks, because if you think about it, women always say, we are so much more f further, we grow faster right. than men further do. along than men. Right, we're yeah. so much more mature. Yeah. But at the same time, we're not. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just questions after questions after questions. Yeah. So I try to invoke, not even invoke, I challenge you mm -hmm. to face yourself mm -hmm. and to really confront that mirror, look at yourself and accept certain things that you're not willing to, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's it's always, listen, honestly, I just let the art use me as a tool. I'm a fucking tool. I will tell you, everyone, I'm a fucking tool. I am the paintbrush, I am the paint. It just is something that needs to come out and I just let it come out. This stuff, all this stuff here, you see, it's not thought out. It's not premeditated. It comes out as it goes. I pick up piece, a piece of paper, pick canvas, pick some colors, and just let it come out. And it is whatever it is that it comes out to be. Mm -hmm. So. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I get I it. I try. I know you get it, Dad. I get it. <laughs> I know you get it. <laughs> I think, as always, your work is just gorgeous Thanks. to me. Thanks. And it, and it really reflects your personality. Thank I you. totally see you in your I work. try, girl. You yeah. Know. <laughs> I try. I well, really thank do. you, Sylvia. Thank you. Everybody, again, this is Sylvia Ortiz at G40, uh, produced by Art Wino in Richmond, Virginia. Definitely come down here and check this stuff out. Thank you.